Maybe I'm the only one with this problem, but have you ever tried to use your arrow keys in Illustrator to nudge something around and maybe it doesn't move quite like you want it to? You can't nudge it exactly in the right place because it either moves too far or not enough. And I, I don't know what my problem is, but until just recently, I didn't know how to change that uh, keyboard increment is what it's called. So that's what we're going to do right now. So if you look at the screen here, you can see we've got two squares, a black square, a purple square, and they look like they're aligned up in that top right corner. But as I zoom in, you can see that they're most definitely not aligned. So being the good nudger that I am, I'll select that purple square, hit the arrow button. Oh, wait a minute. I hit it up and look at it. It's just too big. Okay, maybe left and right. Nope. We can't get it. Now, of course, there's other ways to align this, but I thought this was a good illustration of of the nudge because some in some cases you, you got to nudge. You can't use the align tools or maybe... Uh, you know, even the handy dandy smart mode isn't doing quite what you want. You know, in this case, it does. But back to the nudge. How do we fix that? Okay, well, a couple ways to do it. If you have the properties panel opened up, you can click on a blank space on the canvas, and then you'll see right here under properties, under preferences, there's a keyboard increment and it's set to 0.36 pixels. So it's moving, you know, a third of a pixel at a time, essentially. And in my case, that's too much. So we can change it there, or you can also go up to the menu to Illustrator and then Settings and General. And then right there up at the top, keyboard increment is the very first setting. And I'm sure I've seen that in the past, but I didn't necessarily know it was the nudge amount. So that's what it is. So let's go ahead and change that to, I don't know, point 0.1. Let's see if that, if that helps. Okay, so now I select my purple box. Okay, it's moving a little better. But if we zoom in, yeah, still off. All right, well, let's get crazy. Let's click on the canvas, uh, change it in here in the properties panel. Let's go 0 0.01. Now this is some fine, fine nudging going on here. So click it a few times and look at that. Dead on nudge nosity. And then I can nudge right on up to the top and like I might have overshot it barely. So let's go even smaller. 0 0.005. See what that does. Boom. I think I think we got it. If I hit Command Y, nope. And Command Y gives us a preview mode. So wow. 0 0.001. How about that? That's got to be close to the max, All right? Okay, there we go. That's, that's about as close as anyone can hope to ever get with nudging. But you can see, changing that keyboard increment will get you what you want. So, nudge away, my friends. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, create or die.